With Scorched Earth finally in our hands, we now have the long-awaited announcement for when the sensor will be dropping. For real this time, I hope. And it's coming out in June 3rd with the new Chastasaurus. So, we have a lot on the horizon, and now with Scorched Earth in for Ark Survival Ascendant, it's feeling a lot more full. So today we're talking about the center release date, and what's coming in the next few months for Ark Survival Ascended. So, today we have the long-awaited announcement for when the center's actually going to drop, and it's going to be on, on June the 3rd with the Shastasaurus included, which is the underwater submarine tame. So, hopefully this is the for real date this time, and it'll actually drop. When it does, I pre I'm pretty sure it will, as we got scorched on time now. Hopefully everything's on track now. For Ark Survival Ascended, it's feeling like we're going onwards and upwards, and we've finally got some momentum behind Ark Ascended. So, this is Community Crunch 404, an update on the center, excellent rates, and more. They say, Welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. Survivors, a massive thank you to everyone battling it out on Scorched and uncovering Bob's told tales. It's been a blast creating these expansions and we're thrilled you're enjoying them. But you know us, there's always more on the horizon. So what's the next big thing? And the next big thing is the center. And if you guys haven't played the center, I'm sure most people have, this is my favorite map along with Crystal Isles. This map is so amazing. There's so many nooks and crannies. It's great for solo players. I really hope they fix the bed issues at the moment when center comes out because this map is such an amazing map with so many layers. It's got huge underground caverns. It's got all these different biomes, floating islands, everything you could wish for in one place. It's going to be amazing. And it's coming on June the 3rd. Mark your calendars because on June 3rd we're releasing the center with the Shastasaurus. This free expansion is like a whole new arc world. Double the size, that gorgeous Tolkien fantasy feel and tons of new surprises for you to uncover. In the meantime, you'll find a split tackling everything to make Ark Survival Ascended its best. Some of us will be squashing squashed earth bugs and others are diving into the world of our upcoming free aberration expansion but the main force is powering through to bring you the epicness of center on june 3rd they say we can't spoil all the fun yet but know that even more exciting developments are cooking for the june 3rd update so there's going to be some surprises as well when the center releases so that's awesome to hear and obviously this week scorched earth went live scorched earth has been an awesome experience there's a few teething issues with balance and things like that but I think um, overall it's been a great release and I'm having a blast on Scorch. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments. A few of the new teams are a bit bit interesting and the, the platform cart saddles have a few kind of exploits. But overall, it's been a good experience and it's awesome to see Acer getting some really good content and feeling a little bit more full now with the release of Scorched Earth. So Scorch is out and that came with Bob's Tall Tales. Bob's Tall Tales isn't as broken as we thought it was going to be. There's some balanced things with the Oasis or able to sort of speed up the gameplay loop on PvP, but overall it's not quite as broken as expected, and the new skins are amazing. These new skins are really cool looking. So I really hope we get awesome new skins like this and we get more of them. The train's pretty cool from what I've seen. Haven't really tested on PvP, but there's some really awesome stuff here in the Bob's Tall Tales pack, and it's good to see that Wildcard is sort of going down this route. If it means more money in the game to support the servers and help with cheaters and things like this, I'm all for it. If they keep them, if they keep them from affecting gameplay too much, this is great to see. Especially the skins, I'm really happy with the skins. And also this weekend, I think Ark has a free weekend too. So make sure you guys, if you haven't checked out Ark, get on it this weekend. So that's about it for Ark news this week. We've got the center on the horizon, which is amazing, and I can't wait. I hope you guys are feeling the same. Let me know what you're most excited for. We also have some excellent rates on the official network. Uh, PvP is three times, Small Tribes 5.5 and six times on Arkpok. And we have some awesome new content that's come out from Monarchy, which is uh, a lot of content creators who have got together. So make sure you guys check out the Monarchy series. You'll see a lot of content creators doing this on YouTube at the moment. So make sure you guys are onto this. Yeah, look at all these content creators. It's a full house here. Hillbilly Billy Willy, my man. Dave, a bit more Dave. There's so many legends in here. Raz, Vino, Captain Fat Dog, Kia. There's so many names. Uh, Rampy, like if you guys want some good art content, check this out. It's going to be huge. Sorry if I missed anyone there. And that's about it for Arc News this week. If you guys enjoy these weekly updates, let me know by leaving a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.